Tommy and I were given about four pounds of these chickpeas and we don't eat ch chickpeas. We don't like hummus. We just don't have the refined palate that some of you guys have, I guess. Um, but I'm not going to let them go to waste because you can feed these to your um, because you can feed these to your chickens. You're just not supposed to feed it to them if they haven't been sprouted or cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and get these cooking for the day. Put all four pounds in a pot and cook them for about an hour and a half. Just like you would, you know, other beans. Well, I cook my beans in a crock pot usually for quite a while. But I'm just going to put these in a pot, cover them with water and let them cook until they are softened and then they'll, I will cool them and I will feed them to my chickens. And uh, you can also sprout them, but that takes three to five days. And we have such a small house and a little room for storage that I just wanna get things out and moving on to their next thing, moving on to the next thing. So today, or I'll probably give it to them tomorrow because it'll, what time is it? It's three o'clock by the time I finish cooking them and then get them cooled off. It's going to be seven, eight o'clock at night and they're already going to be back in their coop. So I got a big spaghetti pot full of beans, chickpeas, and now I'm going to start them cooking and go out and work on the chicken coop. Welcome to Waterfall Cottage. I'm Cherie and that's Tommy. And today we might be gardening, remodeling, cooking, canning, or tending to our chickens. Stick around and see what we are up to today. Hey y'all. So I'm outside today and I keep having to stop this recording because the crows are making just a lot of racket today. And usually that indicates there's a hawk or something nearby because crows are the hawk's worst enemy. They follow them around and harass the heck out of them. So I came over here to sit and watch to see if there's a hawk targeting my chickens because we're not gonna let that happen. But anyway, um, seems like they're quieting down now. So today is all about my chickens. It's time to do my quarterly deep clean on the chicken coop. And I have decided to give hemp bedding a try. I've never tried it before. I keep hearing that it's a better product for your chicken coop or other animal bedding that it's more sustainable, that it breaks down better in your compost. So I wanted to give it a try. So I ordered some. Um, the only other place I could find it was at Tractor Supply. And I'm not sure that I wanted to invest that quite that much money at this point in the experiment. So I ordered some from Amazon. It says it's made in the USA. So we'll give it a try. I'm just waiting on Amazon to deliver it now. And it's it's past four o'clock, so they should be delivering it any time now. So anyway, um, I'm gonna get the chicken coop cleaned out and then we'll open this package once it arrives and see if hemp bedding for your chickens is any good. Here's the current state of the chicken coop. The before just gonna scoop all of this out put it in my compost bin and then hose it all down you can see the chickens are starting to molt lose all their feathers these are just some fake eggs looks like one a um, a real egg broke on it and you can see the ants that's why I don't do deep litter in this state just never has worked for me but anyway these are rubber eggs because I have some chickens that are about to be six months old and they should start laying any day now so anyway, 
get to cleaning this nastiness out. Poop and water running out of there. Ain't it lovely? Kind of a dirty job. Alrighty, well, I wouldn't say it's clean enough it to eat off of or anything, but it's pretty dang clean. So now we just let it dry and hope the Amazon package gets here soon. Y'all see what I see? Anybody see this? The acorns are falling off the trees. That means the deer are going to start coming over to get their snacks and are going to start eating more of my plants. Still waiting on the Amazon package. Chickpeas are cooked well enough for the chickens. So now I'm just going to let them sit here and cool off, and then I will take them outside to the chickens. That's four pounds of chickpeas. Well, my package came, and as you can see, it's a very small bag. This is not quite going to cut it in my chicken coop. It will fill their nesting boxes, though. It says it's 18.5 liters, 0.65 cubic feet. So, price wise, this isn't going to cut it because it would be way too expensive to fill my chicken coop with hemp. But let's get it in the nesting boxes. Well, it's getting dark out here, so it's going to be kind of hard to see. But here's the hemp. It's a lot stronger softer than straw would be in our hay um like i said it filled up both of my nesting boxes they only use this one they're going up for the night so they're not going to be happy and the rest of it i put in here and i'm going to need either some more hemp or some straw or some hay to go in here because this isn't going to be enough I will say there's not a lot of dust with this stuff, and like I said, it's a lot softer. That chicken back there is trying to eat it. She's a bit confused. Both of them are. They think I have put food in here. <laughs> Night, girls. They're doing their best to eat all of the uh, chickpeas, hummus, whatever you want to call it, pre-hummus pre without all the ingredients in it. Um, some people, I think in other countries, call them garbanzo beans. But anyway, um, the question about the hemp. I like the product. They say it's more sustainable, 
but <clears throat> since I can't get it at my local feed store uh, where I get my uh, feed from, I don't see that it's doing anything for the environment to order something wrapped in plastic that has to be delivered here by a truck with gas. Um, that just doesn't make any sense to me. It's, I'd rather just pick up my straw or my hay at the same time as my feed and at $19 a package, which is how much I paid for that from Amazon, is just not uh, cost effective at this time. So maybe when prices go down, we'll switch to hemp. But for now, I think I will stick to my uh, normal straw or hay. A lot of times you can't get straw, so you just end up using hay for the bedding, or you can also buy the 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 chips, the wood chips, or the other type beddings. But anyway, I I would give the product itself, you know, a nine or ten. There's nothing wrong with with the hemp product itself. It's just not cost effective. So that's my opinion on whether or not you should use hemp bedding for your chickens. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get inside and get out of the sun and get some inside projects done. Uh, like I said, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.